Hey guys, so it has been requested by quite a few of you for me to show you guys my artwork and just kind of different pieces of art that I've done and I was kind of trying to figure out kind of some stuff to show you guys but I have accumulated enough stuff to show you guys a quick little video well I don't know how quick it'll be but this is just kind of a snippet of some art that I've done I tried to choose some different pieces and different kinds of artwork not all drawings and stuff but there are more drawings than anything else but I hope you guys enjoy and those who requested it um, thank you so much because I think this is a different kind of video and I was just gonna do a blog post on this with pictures but I think this is a little bit more fun so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started so the first thing I'm going to show you is just a piece of jewelry that I have done and I have said this before but we have a class where you can make jewelry and stuff so I made a necklace and I made a few different rings before but I'm not really happy with how they turned out I don't know but I'm going to be doing it again this year and um, so that'll be exciting but this is just one and I did a necklace with a C on it and um, I mean, I could have done a little bit better um, of a job on it, but I was kind of time constrained because I did another thing in this class that took a lot of time, which I will show you. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a piece of silver you can choose. Um, we could choose silver, copper, or brass to do, and I chose silver. And I just put a string or like a necklace string on there to make a necklace. And I was actually inspired by, um, there's a necklace brand. I can't remember what the brand is now, but they're, um, Taylor Swift and Lauren Conrad wear these necklaces like this. And it has their initial on it. So I wanted to make mine. So I did that. Next thing is, I'm just kind of going in random. I have a big, big pile of them here. But this is just a little painting that I did not too long ago. And it looks like this. It's really random. As you can see, it has like flowers in the background. These are supposed to be leaves. And this is like a bird cage with a bird sitting on top of it. And like the end of a bird cage down here. And then there's like some roses up here. I'm not really sure if I'm going to put it up anymore because I don't really know where I'm going to put it because it's so small. But I might find a little place. Oops. <laughs> dropped it. Uh, I might find a little place for it. But anyway, just a little painting that I did. Next. Here are some sketches. This is, um, this is really random. Okay, this is like architecture pieces. And um, I did this last year. So um, I don't really know. I was just sketching because we did like a building picture. And I'll show you what my final one looks like. But these are just sketches to kind of get us um, thinking about like how to do some architecture and stuff. Because it's the first time that, I mean, I have done that kind of stuff. But... Yeah, so just some little pieces of some buildings. The next thing I actually did this year, and actually just kind of a few weeks ago, and we did, uh, I'm going to totally butcher, butcher this name, but it's called a Trompe Lowell drawing. That's how we say it, like my teacher, but she has no idea how to sell it, um, spell it because it's like French or something. So if you guys know how to say it, you should leave a comment below, like trying to write it out in like pronunciation. It basically means it's just a picture that is trinking the eye. And a lot of ways you can do that is by drawing something that looks, um, it's like an optical illusion. A lot of Trompe Lowell drawings are done where they look like it's a photograph. So you just, you look at it and you're like, wow, it's a photograph, but it's actually drawing. So this is my Trompe Lowell drawing. What I did is I tried to make it look like there's a hand. Obviously it doesn't look like a, a real hand, but I mean close enough. So I drew a hand and I made it um, holding a sketch of an apple that was like half done and it's supposed to be look like it's drawn by a different hand. So this is like a model holding a hand but or an apple and then someone else drawing it. So that is my little optical illusion drawing. I just did that like a few weeks ago. Um, this one is from freshman year. We had to do this. Okay, so this is from like two years ago. And it's just four of the same thing. I think this was an avocado. <laughs> it looks like a big lump. But um, we had to do four different kind of um, like drawing techniques. So this is blocking, stippling, which is all in dots, which takes a long time, but is my absolute favorite to do. Cross hatching, or sorry, cross hatching and hatching. So these are pretty boring, but it's kind of cool, I guess. But I really like stippling. It's so fun to do. It takes so long, but it's so worth it. Um, this one, I'm not even sure what this is. I think this is supposed to be eggs in like a blanket or something, or eggs in a blanket. This looks like it's supposed to be eggs in like a cloth or something. I'm not really positive on that. Uh, this one, 
I did, this was the architecture one that I was talking about earlier. We had to like sketch and then we had to choose one kind of technique to do. So either blocking, cross hatching, hatching or stippling. And you guys know I love stippling. So I did stippling and this is my building that I decided to do. And so these are like rock kind of things and then like a checkerboard. I'm not really positive on what, oh, and this also had to be in perspective, which I hate perspective so much. It takes me so long to do because I just can't really think of how to do it right. I don't know. I'm not really good at thinking about like drawing it in like perspective. I can't remember if this was three point or two point. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. Just all done in dots, but I think it's cool when it's finished. So that's my little architecture drawing. This one, okay, these are just on to, oh, I'll show you this one more. This is, <laughs> this is funny. This is just a random horse. I don't know why I drew a horse, but I did. Then this one is my absolute favorite. This is an abstract drawing that I just did. It took me so long. It took me a few weeks to do. But this is what it looks like finally. And I did it in like contrasting colors next to each other, like blue and orange. I think that's really pretty and then purple and green um, even though purple and yellow are opposite but really pretty I think like the colors I think it's really cool this took me so long that's what the final looks like it's pretty big and I think I'm gonna put this up in my room above my vanity or like over there on the wall so you guys will see this in my room tour when I do it and my last one you guys have seen this before but this was in the same class that we did the jewelry and it's like a dress form and yeah, so magazine collage. These are um, like pot holders that I just glued together. And some ribbon, super cute, and suede on the side. So, yeah, that is my artwork video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!